Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? It is your boy Lincoln Song Empire here with the first Elgato video in a pretty long time. So um, basically, this is Shovel Knight. Um, I've been playing Shovel Knight a lot, trying to get used to it. I'm not very good at the game just yet. Um, so this is the mission that I'm up to. We're gonna give it a shot. Holy shit. Leave me alone. Could you leave me alone, please? I don't know if you guys can hear me right now. Hopefully you guys can. But, um... I can't even see the bottom of the fucking game. Right. There we go. Simple. So basically, guys, um, I've been having a lot of fun with this thing. Hopefully, um, if any of you guys have the Switch, you guys have as well. I'll be putting my friend code in the description for all my Nintendo Switch videos. Um, so that's incidental. Um, so yeah. But as I was just about to say, guys, um, Shovel Knight, I'm not amazing with yet. But I've been having a lot of fun playing it, and I'm really happy to have it. Um, some Splatoon videos as well, uh, coming your way, guys. I love Splatoon. Um, other things, um, me and Jason are going to be camping out for Odyssey, so hopefully you guys will uh, watch that. That'll be a live stream in a couple months, obviously. Um, ARMS and Mario and Rabbids I'm working on getting right now. I don't have them just yet, but I will be getting them. So basically, in this mission, I've gotten to the boss countless times, but the Spectre Knight, I just cannot defeat. I soup. I soup at the Spectre Knight. Guys, I did not up, uh, update my Elgato yet, because that's going to take forever, and I just wanted to get to recording, but I will be doing that shortly, guys. Hopefully, um, you guys understand. Sorry about that. Because I, I just wanted to get to recording, and I didn't want to waste more time, which could go towards recording on updating something that doesn't really matter right now. Because, obviously, guys, I can upload this perfectly fine, and you guys won't even have to worry. But I will be updating it so it will um, look better uh, for you guys uh, very shortly. So thank you guys for that. So I'm assuming that most of you guys know um, the generic crap about Shovel Knight. Um, it's a well-praised game. Um, and um, when it came out originally on the Switch, um, back in uh, March, I think it came out on launch day for the Switch, people were saying it's good enough to put Zelda down. Now there are multiple titles which are good enough to put Zelda down, um, namely um, Splatoon, of course. Um, Splatoon is the main game that you put Zelda down for. But um, anyway, guys, it is an amazing game, um, and for only $25, um, you get everything, um, plus what isn't even out yet which is just an amazing business model, and I absolutely adore that. Thank you very much, Yacht Club. But, um, there's a lot of secrets. It's a Mega Man style, um, it's based on Mega Man, um, is what I should say. Um, it has co-op, it's got DLC, it's got literally everything. The game is amazing, and it is well worth, um, $25. Um, it's only digital as of right now, guys, sadly, so just so you guys know, it is only digital. There we go. This part is pretty difficult. Fuck. Like I said, guys, this part is very, very hard. Um... This whole game is extremely difficult, for those of you who don't know. But yeah guys, I do agree this game is good enough to put Zelda down. For those of you who don't know, um, I've hardly been playing Zelda. Um, I've essentially just been playing Splatoon 2, which I've been having a lot of fun with. But in Zelda, I have already done one of the four Divine Beasts. 
so I've been slowly getting through that. So yeah. Um, how are you guys enjoying your Nintendo Switch? If you guys have one, hopefully you, you do. There we go. I don't even care at this point. Ooh, we got the scroll, and we're just gonna keep moving now. But um, as I showed you guys, um, the only games that I have are Splatoon 2, Isaac, Zelda, Shovel Knight, and Mario Kart. But I'm gonna be getting Arms, um, very short, uh, shortly, along with um, Mario and Rabbids, and of course I'm gonna be getting Odyssey on its release because you'd have to be a dumbass not to, right? Right? <laughs> You're all getting Odyssey, right? <laughs> But, um, hopefully you guys are actually enjoying this, um, Shovel Knight gameplay. I'm not too good at the game, but I do love the game, so if that counts for anything, there you guys go. Probably counts for shit. Uh, but I don't care. Motherfucker. This game is hard. This game is hard. That's all I'm gonna say, this game is hard. I'm not good at this type of game, but I love this type of game, so I hate myself. I'm better at games along the lines of Splatoon, and, um, I'm pretty good at Zelda, but platformers, like, come on! <sighs> like, guys, I'm not even mad at the game. The game is amazing. And it's just because I suck that I'm having trouble. Like, let me let me tell you guys, this game is is a hard game, but it's hard in a good way. So if that makes sense, yeah, hard in a good way, amazing game. Play it, please. I, I love you. So it's, it is an amazing game, and it is well, well worth a play. Um, it is very difficult though, that's that's all I'm trying to get across here. Um, very difficult. I believe you can get the base game for $10 instead of $25, so if you guys want to do that, you guys can. But, um, like I, like I was just saying guys, difficult, but a good difficult. And the type of difficult that is your fault. It's not just like, hey, look, there's 5,000 enemies. But it, it, it has a good story. It's a good game. And hopefully you guys um, will enjoy it. I'm not going to be playing too much of it um, solo for you guys. But me and Jason will be getting around to playing it at some point. I know a majority of the secrets. I think I know all the secrets in the first three levels. Because I've played them so many goddamn times. But, well, um, I might not, so yeah. Thank god I had a thousand coins here. But I'm still probably gonna be stuck on the boss because of shit, so yeah. True story. Um, I do have more elf than the last time I attempted this boss. Um, an extra health container. So that might help. I even tried beating him in co-op. I just cannot do it. I admit, I have not tried the um, uh, amiibo, uh, using an amiibo on him, but I really don't want to. I want to be able to do it, getting all of the achievements in-game. So that's that, essentially. Very cool. Thank you very much, video Dom. Very good. Um, for those of you who know Game Grumps, they've actually played this game, so if you like them, that's something to note, maybe. Maybe, baby, honey, baby. Uh, this next portion of the level is pretty tough. Not as hard as the boss, of course, but pretty tough. Um, 
Like, this part is more of a platforming feat than anything. I died. But, um... Basically, this game is a mega- it's, um... It's trying to bring Mega Man back to life, along with a bunch of other um, NES and SNES games. So, um, it's got very cool feels and very cool um, themes. And basically, it has a new theme every level, which is very NES SNES like. Um, this theme is clearly, um, dark and death and stuff of that nature. Motherfucker. This game is so hard! And, like, if I were to hit out here and then I were to hit A there, I would have to restart the level. It wouldn't keep my checkpoint. Like, it only keeps your checkpoint if you die. If you leave the game, you're screwed. And once again, guys, I'm not even mad at the game. It's an amazing, fun game. It's just hard. And it's, m it's my fault hard. It's not like, oh, it's it's like... It's not like Crota's and Destiny type of hard. It's motherfucking... You're, you have to be good at the game hard. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this one here. I suck at Shovel Knight. Um, I'm gonna play probably Isaac for a little while. I'll see you all in the next video slash livestream. Bye.